All right, today's message is entitled, Are You Having Fun Yet? Now, today what we're going to speak about is this idea that the mood you choose each and every day is directly connected to how much money you're going to earn in this business and how much success overall. Because the only way we earn is that we make sure we follow through and do what our clients need to do. So if that's the case, think about this. You have total control over your mood and it is directly connected to how successful you're going to be. So let's go over a couple aspects of that and I also have a very exciting story that I know you're going to love to hear about. All right, keep this in mind. You are on stage every minute of every day. Like it or not, everyone you meet, everyone. Okay, including people you know, when they see you through their own filters, through their own perception, is ask, or telling themselves, are you doing good? How's your life going? How's your business going? They're getting that feeling. And I promise you, in one way, shape, or form, it's coming from you. They're getting that feeling. Are you successful? So the question I have to ask you, and the question you should be asking yourself, if you're on stage every minute of every day, what message are you consistently giving off? Let me get deeper into it. Let me ask you this. When you're prospecting for new clients, okay, do you smile? Are you really happy? Or are you kind of in the doldrums of going, oh God, I gotta prospect some more. The reality of it is, if you're taking that mindset, not only are you wasting time, but you're dramatically decreasing the opportunity for you to grow your business. Heck, it's why you're looking for new clients. Why reduce, if you're going to put the time in, why reduce your opportunity um, you know, with the wrong attitude? The other aspect of it is, I promise you this, when you have that stuck in the doldrums mindset, you're not apt to even do the prospecting, which again will reduce the opportunities for you in the marketplace. You know the old saying, fake it till you make it? I don't believe in that. How about this? Instead of faking it, really believe and focus on the blessings that we all have and get excited about it. Let's look at prospecting as an opportunity to meet people and share with them how we can help them and what we can do to get them past their real estate uh, um, challenges or in a specific real estate transaction. Keep this in mind, okay? Every single time that you're meeting new people, you are on stage. Now, I told you that I had a great story that I wanted to share with you. Many of you know Carlos, our sales manager out of our Sahara office. Well recently, and this was such a powerful story and I'm so glad that he shared, shared it with me, he was calling his sphere of influence. And what he said to them was, is my broker has said, I, or I should say, I promised my broker, I committed to my broker that I would have 10 transactions this month. Can you help me out? How easy is that? I need my, I promised my broker, I committed to my broker that I would have 10 transactions this month. Can you help me out? Well, one of his spheres said, sure, what great timing contacting me, I can help you out. That client ended up purchasing recently and it just closed about a week and a half ago, a $3.1 million house, all cash. Now. Do you think Carlos is smiling? He sure is. I called him to congratulate him. All right, and absolutely, if you know Carlos, he's pretty much always smiling, and that's a beautiful thing. And I promise you, when he was on the phone calling his sphere, okay, he had that same happy Carlos look on his face, all right, and that bled through the phone, and it got him the opportunity to work with a buyer who purchased a $3.1 million property. Property, all right, that is an exciting story. Now let me help you out. I'm going to tell you right now, you are committing to your broker that you're going to do 10 transactions, all right, in the next 30 days. Forget about it that we're a little, uh, you know, we're 10 days before the end of the month. You are going to commit 
over the next 30 days that you're gonna put 10 transactions in escrow. What a great opportunity, okay, and what a great message you can call your sphere with or for anyone else uh, that matters. To touch base with them, keep smiling when you're doing this prospecting, choose the right mood, the right attitude, and the final message I wanna to send today, two things, one, Please be excited about the opportunities that are out there in Las Vegas, Nevada. I guarantee you, and I'm going to say guarantee you, that if you are excited about the opportunities that exist in Las Vegas, Nevada, then your clients, your potential clients, will be more excited. And I promise you, you will attract those people to work with you. Like it or not, people are attracted to people who are excited about the opportunities, who are happy. Okay, They feel that. And I also have to tell you, as people are repelled by the individuals who come off that, you know what, they're stuck in the doldrums. That boy, this is a really tough market. I don't know. I'm not having fun. Don't get caught in that. Be excited about the opportunities that exist in Las Vegas. Let me close by saying this. I don't know how many of you saw this funny movie, Starsky and Hutch. Right? Well, there was a point in the movie, a line in the movie, where they said, do it. Go out there and do it. Okay, all right, I'll stick to real estate. I, I, I get it. But the reality of it is just get out there and do it. Get on the phone, keep the smiles going, be pumped and excited, and I guarantee you, not only will you help clients out there, you'll increase your business and help your career. Have a great week, everybody. Bye-bye.